people of God, good afternoon. I bring you special greetings from our Lord Jesus Christ. This afternoon, I bring you the gospel of Jesus. Now, we want to talk about a topic this afternoon. What shall I do to have eternal life? What shall I do to have eternal life? The book of Mark chapter 10 and the verse 17, the Bible said a man came up to Jesus and he told Jesus, Master, what shall I do to have eternal life? And Jesus said, Thou knowest the commandments. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not commit fornication, and so on. And the man said, I have done these things from my youth till now. What else do I lack? And the Bible said, Jesus loving him said, you lack one thing. Sell all your property out, give it to the poor, and come and follow me. And the Bible said the man was offended because he had so many property. And Jesus turned to his disciples and said, how hard is it for him that trusts in his riches to see the kingdom of God? People of God, the truth of the matter is, you cannot do anything to have eternal life. You don't do anything to have eternal life. The only thing you can do to have eternal life is to have faith in Jesus. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave us his only begotten Son, that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Believe! Hallelujah. You don't get eternal life by, by doing good. You don't get eternal life by, commit, by not committing fornication, not doing all that. All those are good. But the only thing that guarantees you to heaven or guarantees you eternal life is believing and having faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now the book of Mark chapter 10 verse 17 that we read, it was a showcase. Jesus was trying to, sh to test the man to see if he had faith in him. Hallelujah. The man said, I have done all the commandments. I, 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 I am self-righteous. I, I believe that everything that is expected of me, I have done. And Jesus said, one thing I expect of you, and that is to have faith in me. Can you take my words for what it is? Go and come back and follow me. And the man would not do the most important thing, which is have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, the Lord said, I should come and tell you that... To have eternal life, you need one thing and one thing only. Romans chapter 3 verse 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life is a gift. It is not something you work for. You don't work for a gift. It is given to you. Praise the Lord. So to, when it comes to the things of eternal life, it is not about what you have done. It is what Christ has done on the cross. And Christ has done the finished work on the cross. Hallelujah. He, he carried our sin on himself and died for our sakes and he saved us. Now, all we need to do to go to heaven is to believe in Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except through me. Do you have faith in Jesus today? Do you believe in Christ? Because this is your only way to heaven. This is your only ticket to heaven. Hallelujah. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 says, And this is the record that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his Son, Jesus Christ. So this is the word I have brought to you. You cannot do anything to have eternal life. The only thing that guarantees your eternal life is believing in Christ because eternal life is a gift from God. It is not about what you have done or what you will do. God bless you for listening to this message. I believe that this message will cause a perpetual change in your life in Jesus' name. If you've not given your life to Christ, I want you to pray alongside with me. Just the short prayer, say with me, say, Oh God, this afternoon, I thank you for life. I thank you for your message. But from today, I confess my sins. I am a sinner, O oh God. Forgive me. Have mercy upon me. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. May your will be done in my life in Jesus' name. God bless you. Continue, the, continue in the good faith. Hallelujah. Believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. And you will be blessed. God bless you. See you next time in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.